Okay, so as a teacher, sometimes you'll see something and realize immediately how it's going to slot into your teaching life. This AI tool is going to be absolutely amazing for creating lettering for display, like you can see the one behind me. Adobe has recently released Firefly for its main access. It was released in March in 2023, but now it's much more accessible. And I want to give a shout out to Leon Furs over on LinkedIn for sharing this accessibility, because this is genuinely going to be something that saves so many teachers so much time. So let's jump into what it's about and how you can create some amazing lettering such as this and this and then show you how you can take that letter in and make something that you can print out onto your displays. So in the past I've used this instant display letter in. It's straightforward but it does just take time. So let me show you a better alternative. This is Adobe Firefly. This is actually perfect for teachers and students to use which is extremely exciting. Uh, the photos that are generated are appropriate for children to use so this can create some really exciting lessons. There's a range of different tools. Text to image, you would have seen that before. Generative fill means that you can take things out but also cut things in, similar to how you can do that on Canva now. Text effects is what I'm going to show you in a second. You've got generative color, sketch to image is a really cool tool, very similar to what you can do with stability um, with their clip drop doodle space. 3D to image would be amazing for Steam. And there's a bunch of more, more tools down here. So let's have a look at this text effects. And by clicking in, you'll see that there's a bunch of different examples other people have already used. So for example, if I hover over this, puffy quilts, and you can create some lettering. So my thought with this is that you can start to generate lettering appropriate for a topic that you're going to be studying. And if you're a teacher, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. In the past, I've used this to create this sort of maths lettering that I'm going to show you uh, and how you can eventually print that off too in different formats. So with me at the moment, I'm studying Egypt with my class. So I'm going to try and create some lettering for a new display. I'm going to press Egypt, and this is what it's actually going to create. And I want to show the effects of what is going to be created. So I want it to be some papyrus leaves. So straight away, this looks quite nice. If I wanted to be a bit looser, I could do that. Or if I wanted it to be tight to that letter shape, I can also do that too. So if I press generate again, just to show you what that looks like, so you can see it's really close to that lettering which has been demonstrated. I can also give that a bit of a change around. Another one that I could potentially do is hieroglyphics for this Egypt text. Try that with year four, spelling, tricky. Generate that. Yeah, and straight away you can see some really cool options. I mean, this would be absolutely brilliant. What we need to do now is pull this out and insert it into our Canva slides. So on the Canva template, you're gonna search A4 landscape, and then from here, you're just going to press create a blank document. Once you've got to this page, you can then come to this, press copy, paste. Obviously, we've got the little background there that we could just crop out like that, but I've also got some lettering, which is up in this corner up here. So for that, what I want to do is edit photo. If you've got a dark background on it, you can just press this BG remover to do that. So if elements are taken away that you want, you can just use the restore tool just to put those in. In fact, I'm gonna let this be a bit bigger. So restore all of this in. And it was just around this one, but I need to be a bit more careful. But then once you've done that, you're going to press back. And you can see I've got something that's a little bit more sharp now. From there, I'm going to enlarge it to the right size. Make sure you do this first, because otherwise it's a pain to start editing and adjusting everything afterwards. So I want these to be nice and big. This is an A4 page. I want it to take up most of the A4 page. Get back to that. And then from there, I'm just going to copy it, add a page, and then I can just start going to town with the cropping work then. Here's one I made earlier with the maths. You can see that I've done this. I've done it with every single letter. It took me much less time than finding it using the Classroom Lettering website that I showed you at the very, very start. I can then share that as a PDF download it as a printable PDF or if I wanted to make it even bigger and I wanted even bigger lettering I could resize it to A3 if I wanted to and then you'll 
see another tab is going to open up. Let's see how we get on here. There we go. And I can just, I can download that exactly the same, print that exactly the same. The options then are completely unlimited. There's so many different things that you can do with Adobe Firefly. This is just one option when it comes to classroom lettering that I saw, I thought of, and went, yeah, I reckon there's loads of teachers who are going to be able to save some time and also be a bit more creative by using this resource. If you find this video useful, then feel free to give me a follow to see more AI videos. There's so much going on at the moment. Also make sure you check out my newsletter where I'll be sharing lots of different updates too. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to give it a like. That always really helps me out as a teacher. I do create these videos for free. So hopefully you just gain some value and are able to support me through that. I will see you in the next one. Keep your eyes peeled for more AI as it grows and expands. Until then, I'm out.